Welcome to another video. Given f of x equals log base 6 cotangent 3x and the derivative of this function is cosecant of ux divided by the vth root of w, we're supposed to show that u plus v plus w is equal to 6. Now this looks very, very abstract. But whenever you have a function, you know that you're going to get a derivative of the function if the function is differentiable. So this is on the assumption that it is differentiable, then we're supposed to get numbers that look like this. So I don't think there's anything to really worry about. As long as you know how to differentiate this, there's nothing to worry about. Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is take the derivative and see where it leads us because there's nothing else I can say. I don't know what u or v or w um, is, but I know that when I differentiate, I'm going to see something that looks like this. So let's do that. Oh, by the way, whenever you want to take derivatives, it is always good to express your derivative in the natural log form or to express a function in the natural log form so you can easily take the derivative of it. So what I'm going to do first is do a change of base for this function. So I'm going to say that, um, let's, let's do solution, okay? I know that f of x, if I do a change of base from base 6 to natural log, um, it's going to be um, equal to the natural log of cotangent of 3x divided by the natural log of 6. This is how you do change of base, okay? You just um, give the, argu the actual uh, argument of log to natural log and then you take the base as something under. Now, you have to view this as a number. ln of 6 is a number, so it's okay for you to view this as 1 over ln of 6 multiplied by ln of cotangent of 3x. So this is a better view of the function. Change of base, rewrite it this way. So now when I take the derivative of this function, I will not focus on this 1 over ln 6. So this 1 over ln 6 might as well just wait till the end, and I suspect that it has something to do with what we have here, although it doesn't look like what we have here. So there's something crazy happening in the future, but we don't know. So let's take the derivative of this function, ignore the constant, focus on the function. So we're going to say that f prime of x will be equal to, how do you, you take the derivative of any natural log function? What you do is you, it's the derivative of what is inside divided by what is inside. If you've watched all of my videos, I always say when you have the natural log function, the derivative of ln of anything is the derivative of the argument divided by the argument. So this is going to be, we're going to keep this 1 over ln of 6, okay? And then we're going to say it is multiplied by the derivative of the argument, which is cotangent of 3x, I'm going to u prime divided by cotangent of 3x. Okay, now what's the derivative of what's on top? What's the derivative of cotangent? It is negative cosecant squared. Remember, just like the derivative of tangent is secant squared, the, ne the, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So this is equal to 1 over ln of 6 times, here it's going to be negative cosecant squared of 3x. Multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is 3. Okay, so I can, might as well pull this 3 here and make this negative 3. And then, yeah, get rid of this one. 
Nice. Divided by cotangent of 3x. Nice. So at this point, I have to start thinking of how to rewrite this expression so it becomes like what I'm looking for. And I know the work is not here. The work is here. Okay. Now I'm going to rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine because then I can see what's going on. So here I'm going to say this is equal to, I'm going to write the top now as minus 3 times 1 over sine squared 3x. Good. And then the bottom is going to be, um, I'm going to have natural log of 6. Let's write it as ln 6 times here is going to be cotangent is cosine over sine. So it's going to be cosine 3x over sine 3x. Okay, now things are becoming clearer. We have a fraction within a fraction, okay? I can easily drop this sine squared down here so that it now multiplies what is down here. If it multiplies this, one of the sine is, signs will cancel one of these signs and then what you have left is going to be equal to, we have f prime of x will be equal to, this 3 stays on top, so we have under, we're going to have ln of 6. And then when we resolve these two, sine 3x, cosine 3x. This is what you get in the bottom. Now, does this look like what we're looking for? We still need the top to be cosecant. And we need this to be V, okay? Are we going close to it? Okay. Oh, there's something I just saw. Sine 3x, cosine 3x is half of the double angle for sine, right? Remember, if you have a 2 here, then this will become sine 6x. So, this is equal to, let me write it. This is equal to negative 3, let's put it here, negative 3 divided by the natural log of 6 times, now see what I'm going to write. This is going to be 2 sine 3x cosine 3x. I know this 2 wasn't there, so I have to get rid of it by multiplying the top also by 2. So that what I have now is negative 6, f prime of x is now equal to negative 6 divided by, this is ln of 6, multiplied by sine 6x, the double angle formula for sine, times sine 6x. I think we got the answer now. <sighs> yes. Okay. So we need cosecant on top. We need natural log under. So I'm first going to do the separation. I'm going to move this sign. Remember that if the sign is under, you move it up, it becomes cosecant. So this is the same thing as negative six times cosecant of 6x divided by the natural log of 6. Okay, we only want cosecant to be on top. We don't want anything else. So this minus 6 has got to go somewhere else. Can we take the minus 6 down? If we take the minus 6 down and make this, oh, oh, I see what's going to happen. I'm going to leave the minus. This is minus cosecant 6x divided by, see when you drop the 6, because this is not, it's going to be 1 over 6 here. And this is ln of 6. Do you see what has just happened? Do you see what has just happened? This is it. Oh, the minus is still there. The cosecant function is an odd function, which means this minus can actually go inside here. 
That's the meaning of an odd function. So it means, and also I can move this as an exponent of 6, it becomes the sixth root of 6, which means this is going to be 6, this is going to be 6, and this u will be negative 6. That's it. So this is the same thing as cosecant of negative 6x over the natural log of the sixth root of 6 is my f prime of x. Let's go. See, it's a lot of manipulation to be able to do this. Now let's confirm that u plus v plus w will be equal to 6. It means if you put the number here, plus the number here, plus this number, you should get 6. Let's see. So u equals negative 6, v equals 6, w equals 6. So that negative 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 6. Is that true? Yes. Therefore, u plus v plus w equals 6. Check, check, check. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.